Hello, and thanks for joining me again today. Today's plan is to make some soft jaw inserts. What I plan to make them out of is a couple pieces of copper and a brass rod. I haven't seen any made the, the way that I plan on making them, uh, at least not on YouTube. But I plan on uh, making a slit down these anneal them, get them softened up a little bit, put them in the jaws, get something round in there, squeeze down on them really good to kind of form them through the jaws. And then I'm going to take the brass rod and round off the end of it, cut it off, do that four times, and then I'm going to solder it to the inside part of the, of the copper on the jaw so that I have four small contacts or contact points for my work so I can use it with the spider to move everything around so it has a little bit of wiggle motion. Hopefully you'll understand whenever uh, I get it all done. I'm just going to use a mat gas torch to get him as hot as I can. I dunked them in some water to cool them off and as you can see it's real easy they're real real pliable now so I'm gonna get them stuck here in the jaw about the same. All right, what do I got to squeeze on? Okay, I found a piece of aluminum round stock. Jaws opened up and put it in there. I'll just squeeze them a little tighter there. Hold on pretty good that way. the other way.
Give everything a good tightening. I think come in there with a pair of pliers. them a little bend over so whenever I take them off and put them back on they'll hold themselves on there next time. Hopefully, hopefully they'll hold themselves on there. Yeah, sort of. I right, play with that. Oops. Don't forget to take your dang chuck out. All right, let's make some little brass nubbins and get them soldered on there. Okay, let's see if we can't get this soldered on here. Bunch of old dried up flux. And I'm going to have to get the brass piece a whole lot hot, hotter than the uh, copper. So I'm going to heat it up over here on the edge.
you know, see if that works. They certainly don't look pretty. I can clean them up a little bit. I do think they'll work for what I intend to use them for. Well, here we are back at the lathe. I hope you uh, can see what I was making these for. These soft jaws along with the spider that I made in the last video will allow me to get this barrel perfectly straight so I can put some external threads on it. Well, I hope, uh, hope you liked what you saw and uh, maybe we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.